violence is um, a, a symptom of a bigger problem, and we recognize that here. U-Turn, an organization created to help prevent and reduce violence in Omaha, has dedicated its street and school outreach teams to serve those most at risk, ages 12 to 25 plus, of engaging in gun and gang violence. And we also look at um, domestic and intimate partner violence and sex trafficking within our women's violence prevention team. Their target area is the east and northeast sector of Douglas County, but U-Turn's credible messengers focus on other parts of Omaha as well. When I say credible messenger, what I mean are that we have people on our team that have come from and now are. So they're past, they know how to, to explain to a young person a credible messenger like operations manager Stuart Giddings. He often drives this van to respond to calls. Uh, typically, if we get a call, it's usually because um, either violence has erupted and, and has occurred or uh, there's, a, there's a potential for that violence to occur. Sometimes we get that call ahead of time. Sometimes we get it at the spark of that argument before it erupts into that violence. And that will allow our team to go out and then begin to mediate, um, inter intervene, and hopefully interrupt that situation. Sometimes a call can hit close to home. Prior to COVID, uh, we have the high school students that would come and peruse through the parking lot, and sometimes this was their fighting grounds. So oftentimes we were coming right out of our office buildings, and we're breaking up fights and we're mediating on the spot and seeing what we can do to assist these individuals so that, again, these things don't have to continue to happen because we understand it may have started in school, but once we're here, it then can erupt into some street violence um, and, and retaliation depending on who might lose that fight. Gidding says violence can stem from emotional traumas. You know, violence, it, it happens um, when there's when there's a lack of emotional um, control. And, and oftentimes it's 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 small stuff. It's, um, you know, uh, I felt disrespected um, in a lot of cases. It's because, uh, you know, people didn't honor their word or they didn't do what they said that they would do. That's why Executive Director Teresa Negron says oftentimes there's a deeper issue. Uh, we're looking at violence from an infectious disease perspective, um, knowing that there is a reason why it happens. Hopelessness can be a cause. There, there are a lot of things that impact um, uh, a, a sense of hopelessness, um, poverty, and the lack of opportunity, um, and not having the same chances as everybody else does that doesn't look like you, right? That's why their target area is North Omaha. In terms of data, it, it shows that this is where the largest majority of these things occur. And so we follow the data. Uh, the data says that in the black community and, and um, in the Hispanic community, the minority communities, um, that this is where the violence occurs and, and, and at a higher rate. Both Negron and Giddings hope that as they continue to identify and treat those at highest risk, U-turn can become a staple in Omaha, helping others move forward by doing their part to curb the violence. Because of the mediation that our team is able to do, um, we've been successful in preventing some retaliations. All of them know, and, and I, I need to make that clear because I don't want to give people a false sense of who we really are. But we're out here doing this work every day.